start. Um, my name is Anja Ebersbach. I'm a member of the Hallo Welt team. And I would like to talk about multilingual uh, wikis today because there, um, there is a growing, numbers of, uh, uh, growing number of customers uh, which come to us and they uh, want to have more than one language in, in their wiki or their wikis. And yes, uh, they want to have a solution for this problem. And uh, today I want to pre present you with the scenarios we discuss at our company. I know that there are many ways to, to make a wiki multilingual, but uh, I, have no uh, I, I have no claim to completeness today. So if you have um, additional ideas, uh, I would welcome them at the end of the talk. I would like to start with the first, um, with the first scenario, uh, which is the, the biggest uh, multilingual wiki in the world, which is, of course, Wikipedia. And um, I call this scenario parallel authoring. I got this from a scientific paper and I think it fits very well because you have um, a, a number, a big number of, of, of wikis in a wiki farm um, and each uh, wiki uh, presents a, a language version. And um, each wiki is, uh, has, also, uh, has also its uh, own community and its own content. As you can see here in the model, um, the, the versions are quite separate. There is no close connection between these versions, uh, apart from maybe the, the um, interwiki link. And there's also no transfer between the languages. Of course, in Wikipedia, there, there are some translations and we'll, uh, we'll come to that uh, topic later. But um, for this prototype, there, there is no, um, ne no close connection between these versions. Um, the problem is that if you have this concept, then you need a lot of, uh, a lot of authors to keep this running because it's, uh, it's more effort to, to uh, write each, uh, each content from, from the scratch. You have to research, you have to, to, to write it down you have to uh, to, to uh, formulate this, and uh, this is not quite efficient. Um, if we have a look at this um, um, a chart, you can see uh, the distribution of all articles in the Wikipedia uh, per language versions. It's as as it is from yesterday. Uh, there are now over more, uh, over three hundred languages in the Wikipedia. Uh, but as you can see here, uh, the number differs uh, quite quite a lot. Uh, the, the English version is, of course, the the biggest one. Um, uh, at the second and the place, it's Cebuano, and in the third, Swedish. But only because they fill um, their Wikipedia's with a bot. And um, then you see uh, larger um, uh, language versions and uh, the the big. Uh, uh, white slice is, uh, is, is, is a combination, is the sum of all the small Wikipedias. But you, you have also, uh, you have always keep in mind that each language version has its own content. Of course, there are some uh, the content, there's some content that, which is identical, uh, identical, but most of it, yeah, is, is different. And this is definitely not what our customers want. They want to have a a close connection of, uh, of their source and their, their target um, articles. They, they, uh, yeah, they, they want to, to have a formalized uh, translation process, maybe. And uh, they, yes, they, they, they want to have a kind of traditional translation process. And this is uh, what what it looks like. It's uh, you, you have one master language where you put the, the content in uh, where you, yes, where, where you finish the, the, the content and then it is uh, distributed and processed to the, to the um, various um, language versions. Um, the assumptions of this traditional translation process are as follows. Uh, there's one master language. There is kind of edit freeze. There's a, a, a point of time where the original is not changed anymore because it's very um, expensive for, 
for traditional processes to work in a loop and to to to, to process uh, ongoing changes in the original. So there has to be a, a time uh, when when the original is finished and you have to distribute it somehow. Of course, if you have a traditional translation process, you you always work with deadlines. You have controlled language pairs, which means you it doesn't make sense to have 300 or more uh, languages because, as I said, it's it's quite expensive to work with pro professional translators uh, normally. Uh, so each each language pair is an additional uh, expense uh, expense, and uh, companies shy away from that. You have you normally have a strong coordinated process, uh, which means you have the trans uh, you, you have the, the author of the of the article, then you have the translator. You have um, a certain review process. You have a, a quality uh, assurance pr uh, process at the end. So it's 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 a very yeah it's it's a very organized way of working. Um, as I said. Authoring and, and translation is, is separate uh, quite quite clearly, and in most cases at, at, at bigger companies you have trained professional translators. And if you um, if you combine this with the wiki way, then of course it collides. It's not the the wiki philosophy to have a strong coordination, to have an edit freeze, to have one master language. So. Uh, there you have the, the, the squaring of the circle. Uh, if, if customers come and they want to combine the wiki philosophy with the translation process, but nevertheless we try. And my second scenario, uh, which we recommend in cases where um, the customer has multilingual content, but it's not uh, how sh shall I say that it's it's not it's not a big problem. They have the wiki in there normal language in there, uh, um, for example, they have a German wiki and sometimes they have um, language uh, content, different language content translations they want to put into this wiki as well. And here you can use sub pages as well as a kind of workaround. You have no additional tech, uh, technical expenses. You can put this, put this into one wiki, which is uh, very often a problem with customers to to sell more than one wiki just because of uh, multilingualism. They want to have their one wiki and as they know it from website, websites too, they want to have one wiki and uh, many languages as well. So they want to stick to their one wiki solution. And this is, as I said, is, this is a very simple short around for that to put the translated uh, article, for example, into a sub page, as you can see it here in this um, sketch um, I've made, um, you have these articles and you just put put uh, the, the translated content into this um, sub pages. And uh, there is no connection between those, um, uh, the, 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 between the source text and the target text. There is no workflow. It's, yeah, it's just a simple workaround. And um, as you can see, the titles here, it also, it, it's not, yeah, it's not neat. It's not a neat solution because uh, it's a German wiki. It stays German wiki. The, the software is German. Um, you have a, you have one category system. And uh, here you can also see the name of the articles are also in the, in the source language. Um, maybe you can wait, uh, work with display title but yeah as i said it's it's not a neat solution if you uh want to stick to your one wiki solution but you want to have a more sophisticated sophisticated way of uh dealing with multilingual content then uh there's the extension translate which is a very fine extension uh, which was developed for translate wiki and uh, here you also have a defined master language um, and you can translate uh, your your source article into um, multiple languages you have your it looks this way that you, you have your article you you open this extension you fill in the translation and then you get as well as the, the other uh, sub pages solution, you get a sub page 
with um, in, internally with uh, with a multilingual um, uh, content. The uh, difference is that here you have a change tracking, uh, which means if you change uh, the article, the source article, then um, it is uh, yeah you, you can get this you you see that there are changes in the translation in the translated articles as well so you know that is not the current version and you you have to to fill in the changes as well um, there is a very close connection between these language versions because of this uh, feature and you also have a kind of workflow uh, you you translate it there's also a review uh, functionality with it and um, uh, the target the target article is um, is how can I say that uh, the target article is it cannot change cannot be changed anymore which means that every change we have to first fill in uh, into the, the source and the source article and then you have to change it per, uh, per translation into the um, translated articles. So um, the other language versions cannot be changed anymore. You have just to take the translation and that's it. So it's a very close close connection. It's quite similar to this tra tra uh, traditional uh, translation process. And you, you have to keep in mind that it's, um, it's an extension which is made for Translate Wiki. And Translate Wiki is a big translation community platform. It's, it's, not, it's not a knowledge base. Uh, it's a translation platform made for this community and there it fits very well. But maybe if you have a wiki with a, with a wiki spirit, then uh, maybe it's not, it's not really like the, uh, the right solution for that. I have made a screenshot of the MetaWiki, which also uses uh, this um, this um, extension, and here, just to show you, just to give you an impression how it looks, um, I opened the article mission of the uh, Wikimedia Foundation, and I wanted to translate it into Bavarian language, uh, and here you see uh, the the form. You have to fill in this here, and it gives you some advice as well at, um, and you can see the review process here you can see how it shows you if, if the article is outdated, outdated if it's translated so there are many little things that helps you to keep to keep your translation um, uh, in, in the current state so uh, if you prefer one-to-one -one translation this is um, yeah this might be a good solution the next scenario is also taken from the Wikipedia. Um, it's content translation. It's an extension which is uh, implemented in every Wikipedia as a beta ver version. You have to enable it as as user, and uh, it works uh, this way that you um, you you go to your article, you open this uh, you open this extension, and then you can decide in which language you want to translate this article. Uh, the extension also gives you, um, uh, it gives you, um, uh, offers you some articles which have to be translated uh, and uh, then a uh, window opens and you see the, the original article and on the other side you can, you can fill in the translation and at the end uh, the, the article is pushed into the other wiki. So it's a wiki farm, you need more wiki uh, more wikis for that for each language version one wiki and uh, um, the interesting thing about this it's also it, it also works with machine translation um, uh, i think with google uh, translate and with people um, the wikipedians are not so uh, yeah they are not so happy with that if uh, machine translation is used of course um, but um, maybe for a company, this could be a good solution. Uh, compared with the other, th uh, with the other scenarios, um, there is no master language. So you can go to every Wikipedia and, and, and uh, do this. There is no change tracking, which means if you translate the article, 
you push it into the other version, then the community there can can process uh, this article. They can um, adapt the, uh, this, this, the content to their culture, uh, whatever. So uh, it doesn't interfere with the community. So it's uh, um, if you have something like this, like this concept, then um, uh, community uh, um, uh, wikis, then it might be a good solution. Yes, so the language communities persist, yeah? so they, you, you can, uh, they just can go on. Here, I also got a uh, screenshot, I got uh, this uh, from Wikipedia, so they say Carol Thatcher, an English article, um, an English uh, journalist, should uh, be translated into German, and that's what you get if you, if you open this uh, uh, window. It's it's not very sophisticated. I mean, you can do this manual uh, manually as well. Of course, you can open the, the the German Wikipedia. You can take the text to to Word. You can translate it, and you can put this into um, into into English Wikipedia or, or wherever. Uh, it's uh, it's just uh, it just assists you with a boring task, uh, and it uh, it makes your life easier if you're a translator in Wikipedia. Then, uh, last scenario is one which is um, made by Hallo Welt for one of our customers. It's a um, Swiss company and they have um, as a company language uh, German and they also have German, uh, German wikis, uh, a lot of German wikis. And uh, as they are uh, in, in Switzerland, they have many um, uh, languages. They they need the content. They need this one content uh, to be translated into Italian and French as well. And uh, uh, we um, implemented uh, one uh, master wiki, so to say, which is a German wiki uh, there. And they they have a community. They work into this wiki, just wiki way. And then uh, at each article, there is a translate button and you can, you can um, uh, click the button and then um, these, uh, the article is translated into, into, into Italian or French and is pushed into this other, into the uh, other wiki. And it also works if um, if changes are there because uh, the, the text is separated in, in segments, and uh, the changes are tracked, and uh, the the Italian uh, community and the French community, if they get the, this pushed article or the changes, then they can check if they want to accept them or not. So um, yeah, I've forgotten. Um, it's it's a deep, uh, uh, um, it's a deep translation. It's not community uh, community translation and no professional translation. It's uh, deep, so it's um, very quick. And um, yes, it's it's also just like the content translation. Um, the the communities, the, the Italian wiki and the French wiki, they can work with those articles um, as well. So they can uh, add uh, additional uh, content and um, go on. So this is a very interesting thing. So it, uh, somehow, it, um, for me, it co combines content translation and translate. And um, yes, the project uh, had uh, its go live yesterday, and I'm very curious how it, um, how it will work. I put, yeah, uh, one screenshot, uh, I forgot. Uh, I've taken this from, from this uh, customer, just uh, to, to give you an impression. This is the transfer page you get if you click the button translate. Uh, it puts, uh, the Deeple puts, the, the, the Deeple puts uh, the, the, the content into this, into this um, window, and then uh, you can transfer it to your, to the, the, the page you want, in, in, in uh, this case, to the French wiki. In this, um, in this uh, table, I have uh, summarized all the, uh, for me, important uh, properties of, of each um, scenario. And um, 
I think the, the most important thing here is that if you start to, uh, to, to, to think about a multilingual wiki solution, then don't start uh, with this. Don't start with the architecture, something like, oh, I only want one wiki and I'm fixed on the translation, uh, tr uh, content translation and want it this way. And uh, uh, then you have the, the problems afterwards because it, uh, t technical solution is not, is not yeah, it's not that important. Um, start with the content. You have to think about what 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 results do you need. And if you look at these questions, um, then uh, for me, as I said, the, the most important question is what kind of multilingualism do you want? Do you want to have a Wikipedia solution, which each, with each co uh, community creating it, uh, it, uh, its own content which is very which is which is very nice approach of course uh, from a cultural perspective but uh, in most companies it uh, it doesn't work um, is there a master language um, do you need uh, change tracking uh, what kind of translation do you prefer do you do you want to have a perfect translation a uh, perfect one-to-one -one translation um, do you have a machine? Uh, do you want to have a machine translation? Do you have review processes there? Uh, so this is very um, important question. And of course, how, how, or who shall translate the content? Do you have human translators? Do you have maybe a professional and um, translate uh, translation um, agency? Uh, do you have a community just like Translate Wiki, or uh, do you prefer to to use machine translation and you are yeah, you are maybe aware that uh, it's not perfect, but uh, it's enough for your use case. So those are, for me, the important questions that before you start to implement the multilingualism in your wiki. I'm finished. Mm -hmm.